looking state by state and county by county, it is clear that communities where people remain unvaccinated are communities that remain vulnerable. This is all true as we monitor the continued spread of the hypertransmissible Delta variant. The Delta variant is predicted to be the second most prevalent variant in the United States. And I expect that in the coming weeks, it will eclipse the Alpha variant. An estimated 25% of all reported SARS-CoV-2 sequences nationwide are the Delta variant. And in some regions of the country, nearly one in two sequences is the Delta variant. There are communities that are vulnerable and where we are now seeing surges in cases and indeed also hospitalizations due to what could be the spread of the Delta variant and low vaccination rates in these communities. Currently, approximately 1,000 counties in the United States have vaccination coverage of less than 30%. These communities, primarily in the Southeast and Midwest, are our most vulnerable. In some of these areas, we are already seeing increasing rates of disease. As the Delta variant continues to spread across the country, we expect to see increased transmissions in these communities unless we can vaccinate more people now. As you will hear from Dr. Fauci shortly, our authorized vaccines provide protection against the circulating variants in this country, including Delta. Vaccination is how we protect these individuals, families, and communities and prevent severe disease, hospitalizations, and deaths from COVID-19. Preliminary data from a collection of states over the last six months suggest 99.5% of deaths from COVID-19 in these states have occurred in unvaccinated people. Any suffering or death from COVID-19 is tragic. With vaccines available across the country, the suffering and loss we are now seeing is nearly entirely avoidable. COVID-19s are available and free for everyone age 12 and up, and I encourage everyone who has not been vaccinated, especially those in these vulnerable communities with low vaccine coverage, to roll up their sleeves and get vaccinated. As we prepare to celebrate Independence Day, I want to remind those who remain unvaccinated to protect themselves by wearing a mask and avoiding crowds to prevent transmission and illness. If you have symptoms of COVID-19, please get tested. And of course, please get vaccinated in one of the many places near you as soon as you can. Please enjoy a safe, family and friend-filled holiday weekend. 今天Tom去打了COVID疫苗 这是因为所有年满12岁的人都有资格接种COVID-19疫苗 于是Tom帮他姐姐找到疫苗接种的地点 他姐姐把链接发给了闺蜜闺蜜提醒了工作伙伴